Okay, so in this video, I wanted to see if there's a difference when you're editing a video file on the Mac mini compared to editing it off of these. These are external SSDs, right? This is the Crucial X6 and I love this thing and I use it all the time. And this is the Samsung T7 in case some people think that the Crucial is like a very budget friendly alternative that's kind of slow or anything like that. So. We're gonna do a little bit of a test. Actually, I've already tested it out. I'm more presenting the facts. The, these are the facts. So. Just a couple of numbers so you understand where I'm coming from. The Mac Mini internal SSD, it has a read speed of 3000 megabytes per second and 2000 megabytes write speed. That's fast. And the Crucial has a write speed of 590 megabytes per second and a read speed of 730 megabytes per second. And the T7 has a write speed of 600 megabytes per second and 700 megabytes per second. In theory, one would think that the Mac mini should at least do a bit of an improvement if we're talking about exporting a 4K file, right? But the results were actually quite shocking. So a little bit about the project that I was doing. It was a 10 minute 4K video file. I was using Final Cut Pro. I imported it without doing any you know, rendering or anything like that, copying over to the project. Everything was done directly on the machine. So for example, the project file was saved on the Mac mini and then it was saved on the Crucial and then the Samsung T7. And I did the exact same effects. I added some LUT, I, add, uh, I used compressor and limiter, and then I also added an intro and an outro and the project file was 10 minutes long. So here are the results. They were basically identical. <laughs> it took five minutes to export the video file from Final Cut Pro in H.265. When I was doing an H.264, it took about 11 minutes. So the results were, I was actually quite surprised. I was sort of thinking that the Mac mini would be the fastest like if i was to export everything directly on the mac mini then it would be a lot faster and so it turns out that it doesn't really matter if you're editing your video project files on an external hard drive because there is no difference in export times there just isn't i tested it this out very thoroughly i tested it out three times on each device and it was the same result five minutes flat when I was exporting in H.265 and about 11 minutes when I exported in H.264. So that was kind of strange to me. Now, I have noticed that when I'm editing on the Samsung T7, this thing does get very hot and when it gets too hot, it sort of slows down the speed, but I haven't noticed it to be any issues when I'm editing big video project files. and. The Crucial X6, this is my favorite one. It just works so phenomenally. I love this thing. And um, yeah, so my recommendation is if you're gonna get yourself a Mac mini for editing videos and you're sort of considering that you should get, you know, more storage space, honestly, just get to 256 base model and invest in an external SSD and you'll be just fine, okay? These are very small, you know, you can hardly tell that they're there behind the Mac mini. So that's what I recommend. It really makes no sense investing a lot of money into a Mac mini with a lot of storage. It really doesn't, you know, especially if you're doing, you know, editing 4K video files for YouTube or stock video or whatnot. It just doesn't make any sense. So again, I was actually pretty surprised myself. I was dead certain actually that the Mac mini would perform better. Now, what is the reason for all of this? Well, I'm guessing that even though you save the project file and the video files on these external SSDs, the processing is in the RAM. So 
if you have 16 gigs of RAM, which I recommend by the way, if you're gonna get a Mac mini, get 16 gigs of RAM and don't look back. It's just gonna be a lot faster because considering that when you're doing a project file that you're editing, everything gets pretty much run through the RAM, right? So I think that it doesn't really matter again if you're using external SSDs or not. It's just not gonna make a difference. So this test was very interesting for me to make and hopefully it was sort of interesting for you as well. Okay, that's all I had for today. It was a bit of a short video, but again, I just wanted to let you guys know because this is something that I've actually been thinking a lot about. Like, did I make a mistake that I didn't get something like a two terabyte Mac mini? And now after doing this test, I'm sort of thinking to myself, good for you. Good that you got the 256 gig version because apparently it doesn't really matter if you're editing off of these external SSDs. Okay, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this little video and hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow or the next day or whenever you wanna watch my videos again. <laughs>